for Elden Ring's runes, items, and weapons at max level on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC and up to 30% off this week. Head over to u4gm.com and use the code CARPO for an extra 5% off. Once again, welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Nice, ladies and gentlemen, today we have another amazing item to get after, the Omen Baron, and I'll show you exactly where you need to go in order to pick this up. So, once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, the Omen Baron can be located at the Underground Roadside, and it's going to take you a nice little trick to get there. How do you get it? Well, from the very first step, you either need to cut through Stormfield Castle, take out a couple bosses, then you're going to be at the Learning Lakes. From there, head to the Eastern Learning Lake Shore, and then to the mountaintops where there is some steps that you can take down. You want to take these steps down there to that Eastern Raya Gate. Then from there, you want to head east until you get to the Grand Lift of Dectish World. You should see a video pop up right there. That is how you can get both of the different medallions to the Grand Lift of Dectus. Put those together and it's going to bring you and open it up to the Altius Plateau. From there, you want to make your way into Lindo Capital City or Lindo Ashen City. It does not matter. But for me, since I've already beaten this, I'm waiting for my new game, new game place. <laughs> We're headed to the Lindo Capital of Ash. I'll show you exactly where you go. Both, even before or after you take out Melikid, can both get you to this subterranean underground level now once you are over here we're going to be headed to the saving grace point and we're going to be starting off our adventures if you haven't beat malakith yet you'll be kind of in through this direction like so and then from there you want to go ahead jump down make a left through this door there is going to be a saving grace point called the underground roadside now from here you're going to make a left and there is some grates that you can fall down now you probably want to get a little light because we are going to be going on a journey and going to be surrounded by enemies. We're going to have a few jump spots that we need to do. Make a right through this tunnel and to the left. Oh, wait, don't go too far. We need to jump over. There are some slugs right there, right? We're going to go up once again and there is another jump. We don't want to fall down like so. We're going to make a right through this gate. There are some slugs right there. A roll. We're going to head down and then from here is going to be a big guy that's going to jump down. We're going to go up this ladder like so. And then from here, through the doors for the first time, you're gonna have to open it up, drop down, turn around, head down these stairs, and then you're gonna make a right, and then a left. And then there's gonna be a couple enemies, you're gonna just run right past these guys, another left, and then turn around through this gate and make a left, and then another right. Head up, pass these enemies up. We're gonna dodge that little direction, and all the way in the back, make another right. Then it's gonna open up to this giant room where there's this big guy right here that you can take out. Now, I had no idea this guy was going to drop it, but I saw something sitting right there, and I was like, oh, wow, that's nice. The Omen Baron. So, yeah, this one will cost an FP of 24 in order to use it, and then it scales with intellect and with faith. And if you equip each piece of the Omen Killer set, it's going to add you plus 5%, getting you all the way up to 20% as well so you're definitely going to need to stack in order to get real good damage out of this bad boy and it can also be boosted by the sacred scorpion talons and since it does deal holy damage so this is how you're going to attack you're going to be equipping this to your inventory and then we're going to be using this at the gate fronts and then we're going to be taking it to the mountaintops of the giant checking out to see how good this bad boy is so here we are at the gate fronts and i'm not gonna lie it's lackluster. Definitely needs a buff. You can't get broken out of the animation. Speaking of animations, it takes about a second and a half, almost two seconds in order to get this off, which is one of the most longest things in the game as far as animations is concerned. It takes forever in order to get this off. And as you can see, enemies can block it. So it's not a whole lot of good things working out for this Omen Baron. I'm not even going to lie, but you know, I am still going to try it out and try to get the most out of it. So I popped in my lovely scorpion charm, went to the mountaintops of the giants, and I found myself putting this guy to sleep because I was just tickling the dude. I'm not even going to lie. It's not that great. But like I said, if you do equip all of those different pieces of the omen set to get the extra 20%, then it'll be decent. But you got to have everything, right? You got to be buffing it with the golden vow otherwise other than that you're going to be running like i am <laughs> but there it is the open baron i showed you where to go picking up if you like person like me that like collecting everything get it 
and then you don't have to worry about getting it again. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpool Game Flow. A wide variety of videos range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.